In this world, there are two ways to view people. We can view them from the eyes of mammon, or we can view them from the eyes of God. And so, you know, we have witnessed it, you know, in how the homeless are treated. What are some of the conversations in cars by passerbys when they see a homeless person? Is it one of judgment? Is it one of criticism? Or is it compassion? What is the heart's first reaction is the question. And you know about the person's viewpoint by their reaction. So, like I said, there are two ways to view people in this world. There is through the eyes of mammon or the eyes of God. Now, under mammon, you know, it seems that value is based upon what a person has achieved. If a person has achieved a good career, then in the eyes of a lot of people, this person has a lot of worth. But if a person hasn't achieved much and has a low education, then their worth in the eyes of a lot of people, you know, it's very low. So, like I had said, is that it depends on what the person has achieved in which they have worth in a lot of people's eyes. You know, we see the reaction of people and how the low class are treated, you know, and uh, I already mentioned about the homeless, but, you know, what is it regarding, you know, the, the help to the low class? You know, are people willing to associate with them? I mean, I recall like in church one time where this elderly man walked in and he was, you know, very poor. He didn't have a belt. He had a rope to hold his pants, you know, his pants up, but he had a suit coat. And so when somebody like that walks into an establishment, all eyes will be on them. What is the reactions in their minds? What is their heart's reaction? Is it one of judgment or is it one of compassion? You know, do they want to help somebody? Do they want to sit with them and get to know that person? So, you know, we see this a lot in this world is that there's such a judgment toward the unfortunate. And under Mammon's eyes, there is a list of expectations for this per, you know, this person to achieve in order to have a good reputation. And, you know, there's a list of demands by the financially elite for this person to achieve these things. So there is a set judgment on somebody like this. But basically, how does God see people? Does he view them the same as mammon does? No. Jesus said you cannot, you know, serve God and mammon. So it's an either or kind of thing. And the more that you witness what this world believes and, you know, their, their opinion regarding the less fortunate, the more you can see mammon's way more clearly. And, set, and then you can see the contrast between God and mammon. You know, it just takes, you know, really opening your eyes and, and, and hearing what people say regarding the poor. You know, what is the difference between God, you know, and mammon regarding the poor? You know, there's an example in scripture of, you know, where God said, do not pass a vineyard the second time. And you know, do not pick what has fallen, you know, to the ground, leave it for the poor. I am the Lord. That's what God said. God had compassion for the poor and that's how he wants. But in this world regarding the poor, you know, they say, well, they need to get a job. They need to fend for themselves. And that is so far from the heart of God. So mammon bases value on what man has achieved. But with God, value is placed. God 
already has value for you. That value does not diminish. Each person is made in the image of God and God loves them. Each person, there is the imprint and the fingerprint of God, you know? So God does not look at his creation the way man looks at each other. You know, he said that to Samuel, you know, regarding David, you know, David was a boy. And God said, do not look at his size or his age. The Lord sees not as man sees. You know, God sees inwardly. Man looks on the outward. And that is so true. And we can see that. We can see how God feels about the poor. So you can see already the contrast <clears throat> between mammon and God. You know, the, the, the person... It could be homeless. It could be somebody that doesn't have a good paying job, but it doesn't matter in the eyes of God. So are we willing to see through the eyes of mammon? Or are we going to be willing to see through the eyes of God, not looking at people with a critical mindset, not looking at people as less than worthy of our attention, but looking at them with compassion in the heart of God. You know, like I had said, you are, you have worth because you are created in the image of God. I have worth. The homeless have worth. So it depends on how we want to view people. And we can easily view people, you know, either way. Each is our choice. But if you choose to see people through the eyes of mammon, Know that you're not walking in love. You're walking in hate. You're walking in a critical mindset. You know, and it's so very easy for the tables to turn. You know, somebody could boast of their high position. But what happens if they lose everything that they own and they are then homeless? How do they want to be treated? And that is the point of this message. We must be you know, very careful in how we treat the poor. We must be very careful in how we view people. And we need to view people through the eyes of God and have compassion. So I pray this video has blessed you.